Welcome back to the Royer Shop. In this video, you're gonna see an overview of everything that's gonna take place here during the week. Hey guys, I have some monotonous work to do here and I thought I'd share with you a little bit about how I became a full-time knife maker. Let's get into it. I started making knives exactly 14 years ago, and I am currently 28 years old, so I've been making knives for half of my life. Someday I wanna sell a, a million dollar knife, which I think is completely not out of the realm of possibilities. I think would be a really fun thing to have, to have done. Too wet, too thick. I need to sand it back off and start over. It was just too wet, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm on revenue time, I'm trying to make payroll, buy more equipment. I dropped this twice. I kept crying like a little baby and. In this video, I'll be showing you how I got this. Looking so great after several attempts coming up. I would buff it. We're gonna buff it back off and start again. Kyle said there's not enough contrast. Too much heat is really bad. It's got the best of both worlds that I've been trying to get for 14 years and just starting to get it now. It started out being the worst and most troublesome and ended up being the best. to the knife making studio guys. Today, I'm gonna show you my journey, and it was a journey, of fluting this handle. I did uh, different flutes than I've ever done before, and it was a big time challenge. Let's get into it. I love it. Mm, 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 mm. Can I keep this one? I can't get over it. I can't stop looking at it. I think it's so cool. Today I'm going to show you guys the process of me putting this 24 karat gold twisted wire into the fluted handle we're working on. 24 gauge, 20 thousandths, 24 karat. I like to overdo things. Alright, there. You guys want to do nice Mastersmith quality uh, wrap? Then make the groove on top where the wire goes over the end of the handle, make that groove just a little bit shallow what your gold is and smash uh, the end of that gold as you wrap it around there. And that'll give you a really nice fit up against your spacer. I'm going to put fingernail polish on my knife. Stick around to find out why. Coffee break. Coffee break over. This is a diffuser plate off of a computer. Got a little bit of a drop. I got a little too much drop in my tang. I'm, I'm gonna get it right on the next one, get it better. It's, it's, this is good, but I can, get, I can do better. Uh, put fingernail polish on the bolster, because we do not want to etch that. We are going to buff and polish this bolster in the spine. So I'll put a uh, nice, pretty bright red fingernail polish on that. And the little bit of the spine, a little bit of the heel also. Kyle's got some swords coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.